turn the camera. All right. Hi, Austin. My name is Stone. I'm a family nurse practitioner student with Youngstown State University. Um, today we'll doing a chest, lung, and heart assessment. It'll take about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I'll just be asking some questions, listening to heart sounds, kind of feel out your chest and your back, performing some tests. Um, do you have any questions before we begin? No. Awesome. So how are you feeling today? Uh, good. Any complaints? No. Good. Any difficulty breathing, shortness of breath? No. Um, do you use oxygen at home? No. No, no supplemental oxygen, nothing like that. No. Um, any breathing treatments, albuterol treatments, no. anything like that? Um, no shortness of breath. Any cough? Mm-mm. Um, are you having any chest pain? I'm not. Any chest tightness? No. Any um, heart palpitations, racing heart, racing heartbeat? No. Good. Okay. Any loss of consciousness, consciousness recently? No. Good. All right, awesome. So now we're going to move on to the physical portion of the heart exam. Um, first, I'm going to inspect this precordium. I'm going to be using tangential lighting. So awesome to have you pull your gown down. All right, so first we're looking at some anatomical landmarks. Um, we're going to be looking at his manubrium, his sternal, his sternal borders, um, his clavicles. Everything looks good. Any pain? No. No redness noted, no swelling, no breaks, no pain wherever I'm pushing? No. Nope. Good. Next we'll be looking at his aortic, his pulmonic, his herbs, tricuspid, and herbs point, mitral valve, herbs point. Um, no issues there. Um, Looking for heaves, looking for thrills. Um, let's, heaves are just kind of like um, those pulsating areas. I don't see any, um, nothing like that. I don't feel any. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to assess for pulses on his upper extremities. So I can have you put your gown back up. Testing your temperature. Any pain? No. Awesome. No edema, no atrophy, no varicosities. Testing his radial pulse. Ulnar pulse, brachioradialis, all two plus, no irregularities. Awesome, no edema. Check your nails. Have you put your fingers like this together? Assess for clubbing one at a time. Good, Not, nothing I've noted. Um, so everything looks good. I'm gonna test your other side now, okay? Yep. Skin is warm. Hair is dispersed evenly. No varicosities. Brachioradialis pulse. Radial pulse. Two plus. Two plus. Ulnar pulse. Good. No edema. No varicosities. Any pain in your right? No. Mm -hmm. Left arm. Good. Yep. Okay. So moving on. Um, everything looks good. Skin is good. Temperature is intact. No redness. No swelling. Hair is dispersed evenly through his arms to his fingers. Um, no clubbing present, um, no nail changes, anything like that. All plus, all pulses in his arms are two plus. Now I'm gonna have you lay flat. Ugh. Sorry, a little, <laughs> a little tight. All right, I'm gonna have you pull your gown down just like you did before. I'm gonna palpate your pericardium area, the cardial areas I was talking about earlier. Okay. Yep. Just palpating for thrills. Kind of like turbulence on your chest. Can sound like a purring or feel like a purring of a cat. Nothing like that. Good. All right. And while you're flat, I'm gonna look for JVD using a light. Nothing like no jugular venous ascension, no signs of congestive heart failure. Um, negative signs. I'm gonna feel it. Your carotid and your internal jugular. Feeling for any pulses, waves, or pressure. On the other side. Awesome. Put that pen light now. I'm going to take a listen, okay? Yep. I am going to listen for your stomach to listen for any abdominal aortas. Sorry. Listening for any breweries. Your renal arteries. Iliac. You're good. And femoral. Awesome. Thank you. All right, now I'm going to check for your apical impulse, which is found at the mid-clavicular line, uh, fifth intercostal space. I'm going to feel it right there. Awesome. Now, I'm up to kind of a small bench. I'm going to have you face the wall, turning on your left side. 
I'm going to feel for the same thing. Ooh, I know if you can, you're good. <laughs> All right. Checking for any pulsations or thrusts against my fingers. Awesome, you're good. You can pull your gown back up. I'm just going to check your feet now, okay? Yep. Doing this kind of the same thing for the arms, checking for temperature, pulses. While your legs are sitting up, pop the teal pulse. Two plus, good. Two plus, good. Skin is warm, hair is evenly dispersed. No issue with hair, no lesions, no bumps, no bruises, nothing like that, no cuts, no skin breakdown. Posterior tibialis pulse. Two plus. Two plus. Any pain anywhere in your legs? No. Awesome. No swelling, no edema noted, um, even hair, um, no pitting edema, no cuts, bruises, bumps. Any problem with circulation? Can you feel my finger? Mm -hmm. Good. No problems with feeling or sensation? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to stay up and have you face the wall. I'm going to listen to your heart sounds, listening for S1, S2, S3, S4. I'm going to use a diaphragm in my stethoscope and breathe normally. Aortic, pulmonic, herbs, tricuspid, and the apex of the heart to mitral valve. Good. All I heard is S1 and S2 sounds, no murmurs noted, uh, but now I'm going to test directly for murmurs. So I'm going to use the valve of my stethoscope and I'm going to have you hold your breath during this time, okay? Yep. Awesome. Aortic, pulmonic, tricuspid, mitral, the apex of the heart. Good. So no murmurs noted. Uh, everything sounds good. Everything sounds really good. Um, no chest pain like you said earlier. Um, check for murmurs. No murmurs noted. Heart sounds are good. S1 and S hertz sound. Um, now I'm going to take a listen to your carotid arteries, okay? Yep. Do one side at a time, using the bell, nice and gentle. Listening for any breweries, nothing noted. Awesome, no breweries were noted, thank you. All right, great, that kind of concludes our heart examination. Now we're gonna kind of look at the chest and the lungs, okay? All right. Um, now we're going to kind of view the anterior part of your chest. I'm going to have you pull your gown down again. So looking at breathing, everything seems to be symmetrical. Um, no deformities noted, no masses, no swelling, um, no shallow breath, no rapid breath, no tachypnea. I've been kind of tech checking on my watch, 18 breaths per minute. Um, no accessory muscle usage. Um, everything's within normal limits. Okay. So now while we're here, while his gown is down, we're we looking at his trachea. Any pain? No. No. Uh, so we'll look at his super sternal notch. Any pain in that touch? No. Everything within normal limits. Um, the angle of Lewis. And rib prominence. Any pain on touch anywhere? No. Good. Good. No pain in his ribs. Everything looks good. Uh, good rib prominence. Um, they're all there. No broken ribs or deformities. Now I'm going to lay flat again. <laughs> Continue the anterior chest assessment. Uh, I'm going to palpate his anterior chest to check for any subcutaneous um, deposits. Aortic pulmonic. No subcutaneous air trappings. Also for tactile fremitus. So I'm going to do all their surface in my hands. All you're going to do is say 99, okay? Yep. 99. 99. 99. 99. Good. So I felt vibrations equally in both hands. Um, no unilateral vibrations. They're symmetric on both sides. Um, now I'm going to percuss his chest, okay? Yep. Taking my finger. Uh, resonance was heard over the lung area, more of a dull sound over the heart, which is normal. Uh, now I'm going to have you sit up, and you can pull your shirt up, okay? Yep. 
And I'm going to listen to his anterior heart sounds. Um, listen for any wheezes, wheezes, crackles, rails, anything like that. Just take some deep breaths every time I move my sex scope. Good. 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 A couple more. Last one. All right. Everything sounds good. Good resonance. Um, no crackles, rails, wheezing noted. Um, no strider, friction rubs, anything like that. So while I have him sitting up, I'm going to measure his AP chest diameter. So I'm going to lift your arms up real quick. I'm going to measure this. All right. So give me a big inhale. All right. That would be 37. And inhale, exhale. About 34 and a half. Okay. Thank you. Any pain in your chest or stomach where I've been pushing on so far? No. Good. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the lateral posterior part of his back. Um, first, we're just going to be assessing, looking for symmetry, um, no bumps, cups, scrapes, or bruises, um, no edema noted, no redness, color is good. Using the back of my hands, temperature is warm, minimal hair disbursement. Also, while we're looking back here, we're looking at a C7 and T1. Any pain? Nope. Awesome. Now, I'm take my fingers and kind of go down the spine. Tell me if there's any pain, okay? Yep. Actually, I'm going to have you flip around just so the camera can see what's going on. Sorry. I'm not telling this. Oh. Okay. Just kind of feeling down the spine. Let me know if there's any pain, okay? No pain. Awesome, no pain so far. So we look at C7, T1, no pain either. So feeling down his back. Okay, um, so no pain. So now I'm gonna kind of palpate again. Tell me if there's any pain, okay? Yep. Anything? Nope. Okay. Any pain? Nope. What about right here? No pain. Right here? Nope. Okay. So checking on his back, there's no crepitus, no pain. Everything is symmetrical. Spine is straight, no diversions in the spine. Um, felt the scapula, the spine, everything's intact, no masses, anything like that, no pain. Um, so now we're going to test for thoracic expansion, okay? Yep. So I'm going to do, I'm put my fingers down here and I'm going to do a big exhale. Inhale. So fingers came up symmetrically when he ex inhaled, came back down in the spot there and they, when he exhaled. So everything's looking good there. Um, Let's see, so now we're going to be testing for tactile firmitus again. So same thing, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, right here again, 99. Awesome. Vibrations were felt bilaterally, down his back, um, no unilateral vibrations for each part of the owner of the hand. Um, no pain, everything sounding good, looking good. Okay, so now... We're going to test for diaphragmatic excursion, okay? Yeah. So what we're going to do is um, pound on your back, and when I hear uh, a different sound, we're going to measure that, okay? Yep. Just going to repress. All right, I heard it. All right, so from here... Here about three, about five centimeters. So we measured the part from the resonance to the dullness. So about five centimeters. All right. Now I'm going to also take his posterior back and lateral back. Okay. So every time you feel my stethoscope move, give me a deep breath. Okay. Yep. On the inner part of the scapula. A couple more. Doing good. Laterally, have you cross your arms for me? A couple more breaths. Awesome. 
awesome. Same thing, couple more. Awesome, okay, so no crackles, rails, wheezing noted. Um, breath sounds were clear. Um, no Ronkai, Strider, anything like that, okay? So now, last couple of tests, okay, Austin? Yep. Now I'm gonna have you say a few words. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna put my stethoscope on your back, and I'm gonna have you say 99 when my stethoscope moves, okay? Yep. Ready? 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. And same thing on the front. 99, 99, 99, 99. Awesome, okay. So they were testing for bronchoscopy, egophony. Um, the sounds were muffled, which is good. They weren't high resonance, low resonance. Um, and with that test, we're kind of checking for the um, vocal resonance and see how well we can hear it through the stethoscope when he repeats words. Um, I'm gonna have to repeat the test again, just saying E, and see how we hear the vowel sounds through the stethoscope. So just say E, okay? Yep. E? Yeah. E, 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 E. A couple more times. E, E, E. All right. So they were muffled, which is good. Um, like I said, didn't hear any higher resonance, lower resonance when testing for the vocal resonance. Um, do you have any questions for me, Austin? No. All right, well, thank you for coming in today, and that concludes our exam. All right, thank you.